Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to solve a 1D wave equation using analytical methods. Our objectives are to present a simple 1D vibration problem which is vibrations of an elastic string. We will solve the problem which is a 1D wave equation using analytical methods. The analytical methods we present are based on separation of variables method and D'Alembert's method. Our 1D wave equation problem is shown here. We have a, a thin elastic string of length L which is fixed at either ends. We'll look at some of the assumptions on the next slide. Our assumptions are the elastic string is a thin flexible one with negligible weight. Both ends of the string are clamped so the displacements are zero at the ends. There is no damping involved. Initial displacement profile is given as shown and initial velocity is considered zero on the elastic string. Our 1D wave equation is given as UTT equals C squared times UXX. Also can be represented as dou square U over dou T square equals C square times dou square U over dou X square. Here U is a function of X and T and U represents the vertical displacement and C is the wave propagation speed. X represents the spatial coordinate and T time in seconds. X varies from 0 to L and time uh, is greater than 0. Also C square equals T over rho where T is the force of tension exerted on the string and rho is the mass density. Since this is a 1D problem it is mass per unit length of the string. The boundary conditions are given as u at 0 comma t equals 0 and u at l comma t equals 0 as the displacement is 0 at either ends. The initial condition is given as u at x comma 0 equals f of x and u t at x comma 0 which is equal to dou u over dou t at x comma 0 equals g of x. So the first method we are going to follow is the separation of variables method. So when we simplify the previous wave equation, let us consider f of x is not equal to zero and the initial velocity ut that is g of x equals zero. Accordingly, we get u at x comma zero equals f of x and ut at x comma zero equals zero. And u of x comma t is given as sigma n equals 1 to inf infinity a n cos c n pi t over l sin n pi x over l. This is the equation you can derive when you utilize the separation of variables method and you can find uh, more information on a, any standard uh, textbook that deals with this subject. Here a n equals 2 over l integral 0 to l f of x sin n pi x over l dx and n equals 1, 2, 3, etc. Let us consider as an example f of x equals c1 times sin of c2 times pi x. Basically the initial condition u is a sine function. So then we get u at x comma 0 equals f of x equals c1 sine c2 pi x. This is in the form of a Fourier sine series. Accordingly, a n is equal to 2 over L, 0 to L, f of x sine n pi x over L dx. n varies from 1, 2, 3, etc. When we substitute f of x into the equation for a n, we get a n equals 2 over L integral 0 to L c n times sine c2 times pi x times sine of 
n pi x over l dx n equals 1 2 3 and so on so when we consider n equals c2 times l a n becomes c1 because the arguments of both sine functions they are the same uh, you can mathematically verify this also a n equals 0 for all other n's so when n is not equal to c2 times l so accordingly we get u of x comma t equals sigma n equals 1 to infinity a n cos c n pi t over l and sin n pi x over l this equation becomes u of x comma t equals c1 times cos c times c2 times pi times t and sine of c2 times pi x which is uh, equation 2 is reproduced here as a specific case let us consider as an example c1 equals 1 c2 equals 2 and c equals 0.5 here c1 and c2 are some constants and c represents the wave speed or the wave propagation speed and accordingly we get f of x equals sine pi x and u of x of t equals u of x comma t equals cos of pi t times sine of 2 pi x so this is the final uh, solution for the 1D wave equation we were looking at for this particular case. The same problem can be solved using another method called D. Lambert's method. Here again we start with this analytic, analytical solution obtained using separation of variables method which is u of x comma t equals sigma n equals 1 to infinity a n sin n pi x over l cos c n pi t over l. When we use the product rule using trigono trigonometric uh, identities, sin a cos b equals half times sin of a minus b plus sin of a plus b. Accordingly, the above equation for u of x comma t becomes u of x comma t equals half times sigma n equals 1 to infinity a n sin n pi x minus c t over l plus sin n pi x plus c t over l and a n equals 2 over l integral 0 to l f of x sin n pi x over l dx where n equals 1 to 3 like we considered the previously in under the separation of variables method a n becomes c1 for n equals c2 times l as the arguments for both sine functions are the same and a n equals 0 for all other n's where n is not equal to c2 times l accordingly we get u of x comma t equals half times c1 sine c2 times pi x minus c t plus c1 times sine c2 times pi x plus ct this is of the form u of x comma t equals half of f of x minus ct plus f of x plus ct here f of x is the odd periodic extension period to l of the initial displacement f of x so the solution for this can be easily obtained from the initial displacement f of x so as when you follow the same example if c1 equals 1 c2 equals 2 and c equals 0 0.5 f of x equals sine of pi x and u of x comma t equals half of sine of 2 pi x minus 0.5 t plus sine of 2 times pi times x plus 0.5 t now we'll go to MATLAB and run this, uh, run some codes to solve this equation, these two equations rather. So in the first method, the separation of variables method, 
uh, we will do it first in MATLAB and uh, all the parameters are given for example the wave propagation speed we can consider as c equals 0 0.5 the distance l we consider as c4 and the number of spatial segments m as 200 accordingly delta x equals l over m and the total time will consider as two seconds and the number of time steps as 200 and delta t equals nt over n the initial velocity u underscore t or do u over do t is considered zero and the boundary conditions this the displacement are the two ends u b c one and u b c two is considered zero and the constants in the the initial velocity uh, profile c1 equals 1 and c2 equals 2 so when we solve this equation this analytical solution we obtained on the power point is represented here that is u of i comma k equals c times c1 times sine of c2 times pi of x of i and cos of c times c2 times pi times t of k so here t represents the time and c1 and c2 are constants and x represents the distance so let's run this case Again, the initial displacement profile is shown on the top left hand side and the final displacement profile is shown on the bottom left hand side. And the, the displacement change with time is shown on the right hand side with variation in time. Since we considered that or a time up to two seconds you can see the wave chain getting changed there's variation in the wave that is happening until we hit two seconds Now we will go back and make some changes to the wave propagation speed. For example, let us change C from 0 0.5 to 2. And uh, let us change the amplitude C1 from 1 to 2. And let us change the number of waves we have from 2 to 4, for example. And rerun this case. And we have more waves here and they are moving faster now we'll go back to matlab and uh, we can run the same problem using the second method that is d alembert's method the parameters here are the same but the the final equation is a little bit different as shown here so this is the same equation that is shown uh, in our powerpoint We will let this the previous uh, run finish.
for two seconds. Now we can go back and run uh, the the code for the D. Alembert's method. So like in the case of separation Hilbert's method, the solution is the same here. There are two ways of solving this particular 1D wave equation. In a simple case like this. So we will now go to our uh, presentation and summarize what we have done so far. In this video, we present a 1D wave equation that describes the vibration of an elastic string. Solve the problem using two different analytical methods. The analytical solutions we have used are obtained using the two methods, which is separation of variables method and D. Alembert's method. In future videos,